Welcome. Here's a little fact about fractions that not many people know about. It's about their digits 3, 6, and 9. If they ever appear in a fraction, you can just cancel them out. What do I mean by that? For example, take the fraction 26, uh, 65 ths It has a common factor of 6, or common digit of 6, I should say, cancel out, and apparently this is 2 fifths. And if you check, 26 is 2 times 13, 65 is 5 times 13, that's actually true. Or if a common 9 appears, just cancel it out. 19 90 fifths actually is indeed 1 fifth. Or 16 60 fourths, cross out the sixes, is in fact 1 fourth. Absolutely correct. Or uh, let's do a little more complicated. 163, th I know, 326, make it up. Cross out the threes, cross out the sixes, and if you check, that actually is 1 half. Or 2666 six, six over 6665, let's do lots of them. Cross out the common sixes, that is indeed. Two fifths, and everything I'm writing on the board on the board right now is actually correct. I know 49 98 cross out the common nines, is four eighths, also known as one half. Well, actually, of course, I'm pulling the, the wool over your eyes here. This is a, this is all just a, a falsehood. Um, it's just by coincidence that one can cross out these particular numbers. This is called anomalous cancellation. Everything you're seeing on the board here is just a coincidence. It's not actually true. There's no wonderful way you can just cancel out digits from fractions from the numerator to the denominator. But it's actually a wonderful piece of mathematics, and it's actually very, very hard to construct examples that happen to work this way. Uh, this one. 266 over 6665 is actually particularly nice because it, whoops, let's cross this out. I mean, to cross out literally like that. Um, it actually is independent of the number of sixes you place in the fraction. For example, it's true that uh, 266666, let's do six sixes on the top and six sixes on the bottom, that is going to be two fifths, no matter how many sixes you do. And actually, 49999 with tons of nines and the same number of nines on the bottom, eight is actually four eighths. That's kind of neat. Um, a colleague of mine, John McCarthy, actually discovered this example that actually gets us away from three sixes and nines, and it's truly spectacular. Uh, here goes. Let's just get my pen working here. It turns out that the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, divided by nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, equals, now cross out all the common digits. There's a common nine, there's a common seven, common 6, common 5, common 4, 3, and a common um, 2. On the top survives a 1, on the bottom survives an 8. That is indeed 1 eighth. All purely coincidental and all charming. So my challenge to you is to come up with five more examples of this anomalous cancellation. Have fun.